In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord be with you. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Good to see your smiling faces again. Everyone behave. Mark. So as we prepare to celebrate this Mass this morning, let us first pause and examine our hearts and ask when we have turned to the darkness and not the light, ask our Heavenly Father to forgive us. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, what I have done, what I have failed to do through my through my most grievous fault. Therefore, ask the Blessed Mary of our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. As we recall year by year the mysteries by which, through the res restoration of all its original dignity, human nature has received the hope of rising again, we earnestly beseech your mercy, Lord, that what we celebrate in faith we may possess in unending love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The high priest rose up and all his companions, that is, the party of the Sadducees, and filled with jealousy, laid hands upon the apostles, put them in the public jail. But during the night, the angel of the Lord opened the doors of the prison, led them out, and said, Go and take your place in the temple area, and tell the people everything about this life. When they heard this, they went to the temple early in the morning and taught, when the high priest and his companions arrived, they convened the Sanhedrin, the full senate of the children of Israel, and sent to the jail to have them brought in. But the court officers who went did not find them in the prison, so they came back and reported, We found the jail securely locked, and the guards stationed outside the doors. But when we opened them, we found no one inside. When the captain of the temple guard and the chief priests heard this report, they were at a loss about them as to what this would come to. Then someone came in and reported to them, the men whom you put in prison are in the temple area and are teaching the people. Then the captain and the court officers went and brought them, but without force, because they were afraid of being stoned by the people. The word of the Lord. <laughs> the Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory to the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord, and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with the shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress he saved him. The angel of the Lord encamps about those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son so that everyone who believes in him might have eternal life. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. 
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to Nicodemus, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned, because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the verdict, that the light came into the world, but people preferred darkness to light, because their works were evil. For everyone who does wicked things hates the light, and does not come toward the light, so that his works might not be exposed. But whoever lives the truth comes to the light, so his works may be clearly seen as done in God. The Gospel of the Lord. First of all, I want to say I know Father Paul told you yesterday about Monsignor Bunny. I put this candle and photo of him last night, and then today I will put a memorial book. So if you would all like to start writing your prayers and um, any thoughts that you have in a memorial book, sometimes it helps to write and to uh, have something tangible until... uh, someone is buried or they have their funeral mass, details are still being worked out with the family and the archdiocese, so I will let you know, but we'll have a memorial book here tomorrow and uh, keep this light going for Monsignor until his funeral mass. And we um, will also, I'd ask that we close with the novena to uh, Mary, mother of all priests, uh, with that sits with our Lord in heaven, Jesus Christ, the great high priest, will close with Hail Mary uh, as a novena until Monsignor is buried. Can we do that? Okay, great. So we hear about light and darkness again in this continuing conversation that our Lord has with Nicodemus, who was too afraid to come to him in the light because of what others would think about him. And how much darkness and chaos that they were causing around Jesus and his ministry. Last week, I had the very great privilege, along with Vinny, um, to go to the place that Dr. King was assassinated at, the Lorraine Hotel in Memphis, Tennessee. And, you know, one of Dr. King's most famous sayings is, Darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. Brothers and sisters, in this world that God so loved, he calls us to be that light. He calls us to walk into dark situations and be that beautiful ray of light. We have to let others know, especially when they face situations that they feel dark and we feel dark, we have to support one another. As it's so beautifully done at the Christmas vigil, the celebration of light, at the Easter Vigil, the celebration of light, that there is hope in the world, and it is Jesus Christ, the light of the world. And that is the only way to dispel darkness and hate, is to be the light and not let chaos and darkness overcome our hearts. Jesus says, I am the light of the world. He doesn't give other lists. (laughs) He doesn't give other names. He is the light of the world. 
the love of the world. So as we go out into this remaining week and into this weekend, let us ask ourselves, is there someone that has not yet come to Jesus or understands that he is the light, that he provides eternal life? Let us be that light for others suffering and darkness. Amen. And now, as a community, we lift up our prayers to our Heavenly Father. That the church may continue to be purified and sanctified through the grace and mercy of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the peace of Christ may reign in the hearts of civic and political leaders. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who are suffering the loss of a loved one may find comfort and the hope of eternal rest with the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That this community of faith may grow in holiness in a spirit of thanksgiving through the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died having lived with Christ may be welcomed to his heavenly banquet, especially Raymond Arkey from this Mass is offered, and Monsignor Michael Bunny, who recently died. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in our world, peace in our country, in our church, in our families, and in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the attentions we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. I'd like to also offer our prayers for the repose of the soul of Mary Seaman and the comfort of her family. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask you to hear all these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. For through the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray now, my sisters, my brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we come to know your truth, We make it ours by a worthy way of life. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, The universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. 
Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. <clears throat> and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory. That's without end they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. For at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and given you thanks, he broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper had ended, he took the chalice and once more giving you thanks, Father, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you, humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all your sons and daughters who have gathered on this morning to love, serve, and honor you, Lord. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your glorious face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Julie, with Saint Vincent, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Together now we praise the Father in the words that his Son, our Savior, has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. You okay? Deliver us, O Lord, we pray, from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin 
and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your holy church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. My sisters, my brothers, the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. May they make light this body and blood of our life, Lord Jesus Christ, bring eternal life to all our sins. of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should have run my room, but only say the word and my soul shall be in better praise to God.
Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. We begin our novena today. Hail Mary, Mary full, of full of grace, the Lord, Lord is with thee. <clears throat> blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of, grace, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, never shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life.
the solitaris hostia, daily pondis hostium, the bell of Raymond hostilia, the robber fair auxilium, you Sit sempiter na gloria, qui vitam si ne termino, no istane in patria. falling this great sacrament we hail over ancient forms of worship newer rites of grace prevail faith will tell us Christ is present 